Okay, so now let us continue our discussion on comparing the fractions. And in this video, we are going to consider the unlike fractions in which the denominators are different. Now, when the denominators are different, there could be two possible cases for the numerators. The numerators could be the same and the numerators could be different. So, we will be considering both of these cases when trying to compare the unlike fractions. So, let us start our comparison in com comparing unlike fractions when the numerator is same. And let us use the examples that are given below. So, in the figure 1, the equivalent, uh, the fraction that is represented by the shaded portion is 1 by 3. Because this part is shaded and we have divided the square into three equal parts. So this is the fraction that is represented by this figure here. And in the figure number 2, where we have more parts, we can see that there are 5 parts and we are considering 1 part out of these 5. So we can write it as 1 by 5. Now these two are unlike fractions which have different denominators but the de numerator is same for this. And we want to figure out which one is greater. Is 1 by 3 greater or is 1 by 5 greater? Now visually it's very easy for us to know that 1 by 3 is this part. This one part definitely looks to be greater than this part here. Now, logically also, you can understand it. What essentially we are doing when we consider this fraction 1 by 3 is that the whole is just divided into 3 parts. And then we are considering that one part amongst the 3 parts. In the figure number 2, this whole, that is this square, is now divided into 5 parts. Which means when you are dividing the same quantity into more number of parts, the parts will be smaller in size. And then when we now compare one part of out of 5 in the second case versus one part out of 3, the answer is obvious that one part out of 3 is going to be greater than one part out of 5. So I can say that 1 by 3 is greater than 1 by 5. So essentially, if I just want to capture this result or generalize it, can I say that in unlike fractions with same numerator, same numerator, the fraction with lesser number or lesser denominator or smaller denominator is going to be greater than the fraction with a smaller denominator, than with a higher denominator. And that happens even if the numerator is not 1. The only thing is it should be same. So for example, we can consider 3 parts out of 3 parts, which is the entire this thing, versus 3 parts out of 5 parts. Now which one is greater? So when I consider this 3 by 3, it means that I am considering this entire square here. But in 3 parts out of 5, what I will be doing is I will just be adding these two more parts along with this already shaded one. So it is straightforward that 3 by 3 is greater than 3 by 5. It could even if you take two parts out of three parts and two parts out of five parts, it is straightforward to figure out that 2 by 3 is going to be greater than 2 by 5. So essentially, just to re summarize the numerator. Wherever, whenever the numerators are same in unlike fractions but in that case the denominator is to be considered and the fraction which has a smaller denominator is going to be the bigger fraction or essentially it represents a bigger part. Now let us take another case when we have different numerators. Now it is understood that for unlike fractions the denominators are going to be different. So we have these two fractions we have to compare 2 by 3 versus 3 by 4. Now how do we do this comparison? In the earlier case since the numerators were same it became easy for us. Now this is where we are going to use one of the important results from the like fractions. Now we already know that if the denominators are same 
we just have to look at the numerators to compare the fractions. So what we can do is we can just write down the equivalent fractions for both of these and then choose those equivalent fractions which have the same denominator. So let me just show you this with an example. So let us say that I'm taking 2 by 3 and I start writing the equivalent fractions by multiplying them from 2 onwards. So 2 times 2 is 4 and 3 times 2 is 6. And then uh, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 4 is 12, 2 times 5 is 10 and 3 times 5 is 15 and so on. I think this should be enough. Now we take the other fraction 3 by 4 and we start writing the equivalent fractions and keep on doing it till we see that there is an, is, is any denominator coming common or not. So we start with 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 3 is 9 and 4 times 3 is 12 and bingo here we have 12 and 12. Okay, so can we say that now this is just from the equivalent fraction part we know that 2 by 3 is equal to 8 by 12 and 3 by 4 is equal to 9 by 12. Now can we compare 8 by 12 versus 9 by 12 and it is straightforward because in case of like fractions so what we have done we have converted them into like fractions and now we know that 9 parts out of 12 parts are greater than 8 parts out of 12 parts so this was one way another way which which uh, you could have used to solve this or to have a look at this is let me just reserve this area over here what we can do is we can simply take the denominator of fraction 2 and multiply it by both numerator and denominator and we can take this denominator and divide it by both of the second. So let me do it here. So 2 by 3 should be multiplied by 4 which is nothing but the denominator of the fraction 2. So we, uh, we have this as 2 times 4 is 8 and 3 times 4 is 12 and in this case in the second fraction we have 3 by 4 which we will be multiplying it with the denominator of first which is 3. So it is 3 by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9 and 4 times 3 is 12 and now it becomes very easy because we have the same denominator. So in this case also we can prove that 9 by 12 is greater than 8 by 12. So that is how we would consider uh, an example or of unlike fraction.